Hello and welcome to another edition of Glaucoma Fast Facts. In this video, glaucoma specialist Dr. Amara Gibbons-Ross will talk about different types of glaucoma. So Dr. Ross, is it true that glaucoma is not just one disease, but actually a group of diseases? Absolutely. Glaucoma is characterized as visual field, characteristic visual field defects that correspond to structural changes that we either see with our eyes in the back of the eye or using high-tech machinery like optic coherence tomography. There are different types of etiologies for this presentation, but quite simply, we separate once we see these changes into open angle or closed angle findings, which is why your doctor will often look at the drainage system of your eye when you you're first diagnosed with these visual findings. We name the types of glaucoma based on the etiology for what's causing those defects. And there are lots and lots of examples of that. So Dr. Ross, what is the difference between primary glaucoma and secondary glaucoma? So when we talk about primary glaucoma, that means that we've examined the eye, we've looked at it from front to back, and with the exception of what you're experiencing, we can't find a cause for why you are presenting with these laboratory and testing findings. When we talk about secondary glaucoma, there are things on the clinical exam that can give us a hint as to why you are experiencing the testing issues or the visual issues that you have. Some examples of secondary causes are pseudoexfoliation. You might have that diagnosis, and that is sometimes a weird material that comes off the surface of the lens that you were born with that can clog the drainage system or pigmentary glaucoma. That's usually additional pigmented cells that can also clog the drainage system and cause glaucoma. So you can see that in primary open angle glaucoma, there's not really a cause that we can see. But in secondary glaucoma, we have things that we can see that are causing your disease. So we're talking about different types of glaucoma. What are the names or the categories for these different types of glaucoma or some of them? Yeah, so um, glaucoma is separated into open angle and closed angle causes. So let's talk about open angle. You mentioned primary. That means we can't find a cause. But there are other types of open angle glaucoma that's not primary. If we're thinking about closed angle glaucoma, that tends to get a little bit complicated too. You can have a primary closed angle glaucoma where somebody is, their angle, it's just their regular anatomy. Some people are born with a really small eye and the angle is very, very narrow as we call it. Other etiologies can be that a person has had inflammation and scar tissue has closed up the angle, making it impossible for fluid to egress through that drainage system we talked about. Another common cause of narrow angle is when the lens, as you get older, it gets thicker and it gets bigger. And when it's thicker and bigger, it pushes everything forward, closing the angle. And so we call that phacomorphic glaucoma, which just means that the lens is morphing the angle into a narrow state. And what is the most common type of glaucoma? Primary open angle glaucoma is by far the most common cause of glaucoma. Now, you mentioned the term glaucoma suspect. What does that mean? So remember in the beginning, I said that uh, patients with glaucoma have characteristic changes in visual fields that correlate to structural changes in what we see during exam or what an OCT or the optic coherence tomography, the testing that we do in the office shows us. A lot of times patients are identified not because the pressure is high or because their eye is really painful, but because during a routine exam or screening, someone has seen that maybe you have a family history of glaucoma. I've seen some patients that have their loved ones come into me as suspects simply because I see them, their, 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 their mother or their father. Or they've looked in the back of the eye and they've seen what's called cupping of the nerve. The nerve looks suspicious for glaucoma. It looks like you have glaucoma. And so that's what will often bring patients in. Glaucoma, for the most part, is not painful. 
it doesn't give you any cues to know that it's happening to you. And if your vision is affected by glaucoma, a lot of times that's already too late. And so that underscores the importance of when you get to be a certain age, seeing an ophthalmologist, a physician that's going to safely dilate your eyes, look in the back and make sure they don't see any things like this. For more information, please visit our website, glaucoma.org and download our free 40-page booklet, Understanding and Living with Glaucoma.